G'day, we're David and Paul. Like many people, we've been working hard for many years and we're too young to retire, but we've decided to take a gap year from work. We've bought a new van and we're doing a lap right around Australia. Very rutted, very bumpy, very soft. Oh, oh, oh. Soft. Oh, and yeah. can't keep that camera steady, I <laughs> This episode, we go off road to Steep Point, the westernmost point of mainland Australia, and continue exploring Shark Bay. is just absolutely insane. Yeah, we've lost the sun, but um, not the probably not the most sort of spectacular beach scenery we've seen. But yeah, you know, that coarse beach from the from the shells um, here, and apparently it's twice the salinity of the open ocean. So um, so whatever creatures create these shells, obviously like a high salt diet. Yeah. yeah. They obviously didn't get the message. Well, so, salt's bad for you. Yeah, that makes it <laughs> There you go. Why so salty? Living very much sand and seagrass. Okay. Oh, I won't read it. You can read it for yourselves or Google it. Yeah, so this is actually on the Shark Bay side of the peninsula. But tomorrow we're going to most westerly. the most westerly point. So we're going to head out to Steep Point. turn on to useless loop road and, and just after that we'll lose the um, the google maps which is why we've got the hema on because we've been staying at denim uh, on shark bay uh, it feels a little bit like pearl bay but uh, they're obviously trying to upgrade it um, and, and we quite like it and we're um, yeah. and unusually for us um, we're staying at a caravan park. Um, there are a couple of free camp options around Denham, but they're only for one night, um, and you can't move from one free camp to another free camp. They're actually like council. They're not even really campgrounds. They're, yeah, they're sort of some cleared areas um, uh, in a couple of nice spots. We've had a look at a couple that actually look quite nice, but you can only you can only have one night permit for one night there. Um, and that didn't work for us. Uh, we wanted to spend a few nights in the area, and as it is, we've spent a couple of extra nights. And today we're going to Steep Point. So one of the aims on this trip uh, was to get to the uh, four extreme points. So as you know, um, in Tasmania, I walked out not quite to the southernmost point, but where I could see it. Um, so you know, have a look at the Tasmania video if you haven't already uh, looked at it. Um, and today we're going to the westernmost point, Steep Point. And we've got to find two places, haven't we, Paul? Because there's Steep Point, and then down the road is the actual westernmost point. So we'll have to try and find that. But it's a long, and I hope you can hear this, we've got a bit of road noise. It, it, it's a long day. It, it's from Denham, it's a three and a half hour drive, uh, and, a, and uh, most of it is on gravel or sandy track. Um, 
we've seen varying reports uh, about the condition of the road out there and getting out there, so we'll see how we go. Now turn right. For 113 kilometres, continue straight on. Follow the course of the road for 50 kilometres. There's a bit of a compromise in there. It's a steep point, 148 kilometres, high clearance for about three hours away. We were expecting that, were we? No. So the forecast said it was sunny and clear and warm. How was that? <laughs> <laughs> We're not there yet. <laughs> so between the airbag suspension and airing down, we can barely feel these corrugations, can we, Paula? <laughs> We would have given you some footage of us going through the, the sand dune, it was really soft and we had to try to keep momentum in and out after we'd aired down and we were expecting it. Um, and uh, very, very rutted, very bumpy, very soft and I wanted Paula to film but she was too busy hanging on. <laughs> but dear life. But you can see um, some big dunes sort of uh, in this area. So uh, so we'll see when we get out there, but we were expecting it. They sort of say after the air down point that you go through this line of dunes, um, as we did. The Hema keeps telling us to go in a certain place. Now turn sharply right. And there are no roads where they're telling us to go. <laughs> so we're saying no. <laughs> so we're just saying no, we're sticking That's to the main road. Some. laughing she saw a meme last night before we came out and it was talking about bad road and it said tighten your bra and fasten your dentures. Maybe taking your dentures out. <laughs> <laughs> the defender in sand mode did it quite easily, maintained, well maybe not easily but it did it comfortably. But it was soft. These are a double up for the other one.
good sister lunch spot. It's pretty good. Hmm? Uh, we'll have rest and most lunchily. Okay, I hope you can hear me from the uh, wind. So we've got to Steep Point, um, which is fine, that, that's where we wanted to go. But we also knew that Steep Point says it's the most westerly point of Australia, but it's actually not. Um, there's a, an actual western point of Australia, which is uh, probably a kilometre or so, kilometre and a half from Steep Point. Um, and I'm sort of walking my way out to some of it, but it's that point that you can actually see right there. It's like a moonscape here, you know, with all the eroded rock. It's like honeycomb. Okay, well, here we are. Oh well, I've seen the southern, most southern point, um, and now walked out to the most uh, western point. So both the popular most western point at Steep Point and the actual western point, most western point uh, of Australia. Try and keep that camera steady, okay? Now <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we've got a couple more sections of that. Yeah. This is the bit we used to know us too close to the edge. <laughs> I've heard a couple of those today. <laughs> Between soft stuff that you can get bogged in and then some hard bottoms and those sorts of things, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a bit hard on the constitution. Um, but the car's doing it well. Um, the car's in sand mode at the moment. Um, just keeps the revs up and it keeps our, our momentum up, um, which we sort of needed. We were travelling behind Hilux before and he was struggling up and down um, and the Defender was keeping its revs up and its momentum and it was dealing with the dunes um, quite well. Oh, I've got to turn right, that's why. Okay. Ah, uh, lock gates. Yeah, I see. Okay, I was wondering. No access. Be a brilliant shortcut. Okay. Alright, I think we can stop filming now. Yep. Just be Is careful as you get out. Yes. I can. Hello. What do you reckon about Denovan Shark Bay? It's been really good. We sort of came because we wanted to be right near the sort of the most westerly point, um, and we didn't want to leave our van in a bush camp. So, so we did, and we did have to come into Caravan Park. And yeah, that's to be honest. Look, the Shark Bay Par Car the Shark Bay Caravan Park. Um, it's pretty simple and straightforward. Mm -hmm. It's been good, hasn't it? Yeah. They've been friendly. It's clean. They've, it's clean. they've, they've done. They've yeah. invested. Uh, they've, they've they've been doing some investment and sort of upgrading uh, some of the bathrooms, retiling them, and and doing. And and look, as I say, it's simple. It's clean. They're friendly. Sites are actually reasonably sort of reasonably large. So they've got a few sites that that easily fit in. Yeah, 
our vans and above, and then they've got a range of others. Um, and uh, there are some people who've sort of been coming back, and they all sort of like it. But it was good, and, and it's not... Um, you haven't got any sort of great spectacular scenery. You've got sea glimpses there and that sort of stuff. But anyway, look, we don't do, we don't, we're not like Caraview, Caravan Park Review site. But anyway, that's why we were staying there. So it wasn't so much for Denham, but uh, but we came in and we quite liked Denham. Yeah, it's been it's been good. It's been the, the pace has slowed down a fair bit. They got they've got the uh, Shark Bay Discovery Centre. Yeah, that's quite there. good. Actually, look, it's good to see. Um, we we we'll show you, of course. Um, because it's a significant part uh, of this video, uh, the trip out to Steep Point. That was a good four-wheel driving day, long day, wasn't it? It was a long day. So, yeah, so, like, I mean, our suggestion um, really would be, um, well, there's no there's no real choice. You've either got to secure your van somewhere in a bush camp mm -hmm. and have shorter legs, or you've got to get somewhere, you know, not too far from Shark Bay Road. Yeah. There are camping sites out there, but you can't take a caravan. So, if you're not encumbered with the caravan, yeah, um, yeah, that's right. You, so could, you could drive out there for the three and a half hours or so it takes. And we end up driving. For, night, yeah. We end up sort of driving for the best part of an hour yeah. with with another um, couple who are sort of on the road. You know, he's a chippy, uh, she's a nurse, uh, and they had a rooftop tent, and they ended up getting one of the campsites, yeah. uh, campgrounds out there, uh, and that would be a good way to do it. But if you got the van. You're just in for a long drive. Yep. Really. Um, and you can't get a van up there. And you, oh, no, you could uh, over those. Uh, anyway, you'll see it in the video. Yeah. We, we won't try and describe it uh, separately. Uh, we and uh, we went out to Monkey Mire. Yeah. And we weren't like we, we were not interested in dolphin feeding and all those no. sorts of things. We'd much rather see things in the wild and all those sorts of things when you can. Um, so uh, so you know the idea of standing there with a couple hundred people sort of at watching somebody feed dolphins didn't sort of thrill us. So we just took a quick trip out there. Quite nice out there. And I go to say if you're a family with kids that the RAC park uh, caravan park it is a caravan park mm. but it's in a good location it's nice and safe, location. safe for the kids and you've got animals sort of wandering around yeah. you've got emus wandering around it um, you do see the dolphins we saw the dolphins and we'll sort of show that in the video um, and uh, and the loggerhead turtles yeah right pelicans. By the, uh, pelicans so uh, so great I think for families out there the only thing I'd say to you is if you're going to adventure far and wide sort of like us going to steep point it's another it's another 20 25 yeah. k isn't it over and that that makes it an even longer day if you're going to steep point um, so if you're going to go to um, oh my shoulders my arms getting sore this is because I'm doing the selfie thing if you're going to do Monkey Mire, probably do it as, uh, as something on its own. Yeah. yeah. And then get yourself somewhere else for things like Steep Point, if that's what uh, interests you. But, uh, but yeah, but it's been good. Uh, the, uh, probably the only disappointment is that you don't really read about it until you get here. But the, the so the Hamlin Pool, which is sort of one of the significant draw cards, where they've got the stromatolites. Stromatolites. The stromatolites, you know, sort of like the living fossils you know, in the water. Uh, it's one of the major attractions and sort of, you know, it's sort of one of the major reasons why there's a conservation park It's the here. only one like it in the world, so the, it's pretty significant. And the boardwalk out there got destroyed in the cyclone a couple of years ago. And it's taken them a couple of years to get it reopened and rebuilt. But the only problem is you can't, there's nothing, that's basically they close the site off and the, and the reports are that people are just trying to sort of see the things either through a fence or, you know, from a distance. But um, the advice we got from the information people was that you really can't see that much. Mm. And, you know, and sorry, you know, hopefully towards the end of 2023, maybe 2024, you'll get there. So if that's the thing which is drawing you here, you, you, you know, it, you're going to struggle to get there, mm. unfortunately. But there's plenty of other things to do. The one thing we didn't get to do was the uh, Francois Perron National Park. There's there's a couple of other beautiful areas there, but you can only do so much in the location. As it is, we extended our stay here a bit. Um, but uh, after this, we're heading north towards sort of Carnarvon and then after that towards... Um, X mouth, so we'll just keep moving north. But no, I think this has been a good stay, hasn't it? Yeah, it has been a good stay. Yeah, yeah. So we've enjoyed it. Yeah. So anyway, so uh, so Shark Bay, beautiful, absolutely beautiful it place. Is beautiful. Yeah, and um, and uh, yeah, one of those places that we would never have come to if we weren't doing the big lap, yeah. if we weren't doing the big lap gap year. Anything else you want to add? Bye. <laughs> just bye.
So we've got a bit of rain. Next episode, we head to Cobber Blowholes. And then... Is the lap over? Again, thanks for joining us. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, 100% of our YouTube advertising revenue goes to charity.